You've probably experienced the Nürburgring on the ground in epic simulators like Assetto Corsa, but have you experienced it from the air? Probably not, but thanks to Microsoft Flight Simulator, you can. And that's what we're going to do in this video. Welcome back to the Game of Muscle YouTube channel, everybody, and welcome to the Nürburgring. Specifically, the Nürburgring GP circuit, which is just below our wing. Now, I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to admit how long it took me to actually find the circuit. Um, it's a little bit of a flight to get here if you're leaving from Frankfurt Airport, which is the uh, closest international airport to this race circuit. Um, it took a while, but we found it eventually, <laughs> and I'm sparing you that part of the video. But yeah, we've got the Nürburgring GP track below us, and then, of course, that goes into the Nordschleife, the, 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 the entirety of the Nürburgring uh, circuit, which is 14... 0.2 miles of racetrack. You guys that are into sim racing and motorsport will obviously know this track, um, but uh, those of you that don't, put it this way, it's the most bloody bonkers piece of racetrack invented by man, and of course it's in Germany because the Germans are the most mental of all man. Now we are obviously not just going to look at it from the air nicely like this all calm, we're actually going to fly the racetrack <laughs> because that's what we're here to do. Get your stopwatches out and let's see how long it takes. And we'll hopefully give you a bit of a tour whilst we do it. So you've got the GP main arena standards down the left. That's where Sim Racing Expo happens. If you've ever gone to Sim Racing Expo, I highly recommend going. Maybe not, uh, it was not happening this year, but next year, if you want to try some epic Sim Rigs out, <laughs> we'll throw ourselves onto the track here. And you've got the uh, start finish straight. We kind of just missed a bit there. And uh, you'll notice on here, the grandstands have been turned into a ginormous hotel. <laughs> so the terrain on this uh, is, this isn't uh, laser scan photogrammetry. Uh, this terrain is uh, basically Bing map photo data that's then augmented using their AI, which, uh, you know, I have to say, you know, it's not as good as the uh, photogrammetry, but look how cool the track is. You can actually see all the details here, and this is totally stock to Microsoft Flight Simulator. So you don't have to do anything here. You just jump in. This is in the sim out of the box. And we just come up through the Schumacher S's there. And uh, we're going to get up the hill. And we should... <laughs> we kind of cut a little bit of the track there. It's hard to do the whole thing in a plane. This plane's a bit too quick. Should just go over the NGK chicane. There it is. And then... We are joining the Nordschleife, so start the stopwatch. <laughs> it's about to begin. Throw her in. Tight left-hand corner. Car driving over the bridge there. <laughs> Bit of a safety hazard for the race drivers. So, yeah, what's really awesome with the, the Nordschleife, if you, if you don't know this, I'm a, I, I guess most of you probably do on this channel, but I imagine there's flights of people that don't know about this. In reality, uh, you can just go to this racetrack and you can drive on it. It's, it's open, it's, it's classed as a bit of German public road, basically. It costs about £35 to do a lap, each lap, but you buy a ticket, you go to a toll booth and you drive around. And you hope that no motorcyclists are falling off because they fall off repeatedly and it ends up with the track being closed <laughs> repeatedly. You have to wait around for a 40 or so minutes for the air ambulance to pick up their pieces and body parts. But uh, yeah, it's absolutely mental. <laughs> But look at this, so you can even see the, the resolution of it is such that you can just about make out some of the graffiti on the surface of the uh, track. Which is really nice, considering that this is this is just part, part of Big Mac data. They've, they've not touched this up. This is purely satellite data that's then augmented with processing. We've lost the track. Hang on, we need to turn, turn here. Aeroplanes are not optimal. <laughs> you have to do a 360. There it is. I missed the corner there. Sorry, guys. Uh, they say you cut the track. <laughs> but what's really nice... Oh, look at our shadow. What's really nice in experiencing it in a flight sim like this is you can really admire the countryside that when you're driving this track in a driving simulator... Look at the reflections of the dials on the screen. When you're playing this in a driving simulator, you, you know, you, you can only really see the armco and the trees. You can't really see any of the surrounding countryside. But as you can see here, you know, you can really get an idea of how mental this circuit is in terms of 
it just literally goes up the side of a bloody mountain. Or, well, okay, maybe more of a hill. <laughs> but just, it's, you know, it's very obviously not a flat piece of race circuit. So when you come down this in the, in the Sims, you're like, oh, it's getting a bit steep and the car's going faster. Well, the reason why is, look at this. It's like a sodding canyon. <laughs> As you come down here... Normally, you're balancing the car on the limit through these right-handers, and you get down, and you can just... You normally, uh, in the Sims, you can see the hotel that sticks out. You go across the bridge down the bottom here. I'm really bad. I don't know the corner names off the top of my head here. Apologies there. You can see that hotel in the driving Sims, and you can tell you're going across the bridge, but that's about it, because you're back into the forest. <laughs> Look at this. Tracks, tracks disappeared again. Come back. No, that's not the track. This is really hard to follow in a plane. There we go. It's a little bit of a little uh, river, uh, stream that goes into a tiny little reservoir lake type thing there. Never noticed that before. There we go. The track is totally obscured by trees here. There's the really annoying right-hander. If you're driving that, it's a very hard corner to get right. You tend to understeer on the exit of it. It feels like you got it, but it's going downhill quite steep. And, uh, yeah... I've driven into the wall there quite a few times in The Sims. <laughs> now, now you can see the track goes into a bit of a valley here. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at the different the shading on the trees. I mean, I've got to stop talking about the graphics in Microsoft Flight Sim because it gets a bit tedious, but come on. If you're a fan of trees and grass like I am, this Sim is like heaven. Heaven and green hell <laughs> combined. So now we're going through the more rural part of the race circuit. And then what's weird with this track is it is literally in the middle of the countryside. And then the, the GP circuit itself is like literally just in the town. So most race tracks, you know, they're in the countryside a bit. Uh, but you, you kind of go to the race track and then you've got like an entrance and you, you, you've got like a good five, six hundred meters until you're actually at the race track, if not more. But what's weird with the Nürburgring, the GP track, is that it's literally on the main high street. You walk off the high street, you walk through the through the door, and you're on a racetrack. I can't think of any other race circuits that are quite like that, that aren't in, like, city centres, you know, like, sort of uh, converted uh, temporary racetracks. Look at this. Just had the first carousel there. Underneath this. Yeah, you can see the graffiti quite clearly there. Look at that view. Really get an idea of how crazy the circuit is. So fantastic to see it from this perspective. This is what it'd be like for when they hopefully they add helicopters into this and we'll uh, be able to simulate the helicopter filming experience for the 24 hours of the uh, Nürburg, Nürburg 24 hours race. Hang on! That's a public road. There we go. We've got to turn right here. There it is. Get our roads mixed up. So what this does in a bit, as we come round here, it joins right up next to uh, the, the main road that goes into uh, to where the GP track is. And uh, that's where people... Uh, that's where you join the track. If you're doing the um, Taurus Wagen with your own car, I'll point out when we go to it, but you'll, there's the uh, famous garage just down here. Well, I take a wide berth of this. There's a famous garage just down here where everyone... There you go. That's where everyone refuels their car there to then go across where the wing's pointing at to then drive up the road next to the Nürburgring <laughs> along here to then go to where you could join the track where the, you've got the... Um, Devil's Diner just down there. You've got the car park where people just uh, mull around whilst they're waiting their time to go onto the uh, circuit. There, you've got the Devil's Diner here, the toll booth to actually get onto the track. And, of course, you've got the absolutely mental Nürburgring straight. Now, obviously, that was, that was more just the aerial tour of the track. We, we'll, we'll just rejoin the main Nürburgring. That was the chilled out aerial tour component. We're now going to try and do it a little bit lower. <laughs> and we're probably going to die. So, uh, again, thank you for signing the health and safety waiver. Appreciate that. Ah, look at the pace we've got here. Here we go. 
Let's get in there. Now this is going to be the fastest lap you've ever seen of the Nürburgring. Straighten up the camera. Zoom her out a bit. Look at that. So, T1 of the Nürburgring GP. Stall! <laughs> Arena corners. <laughs> turn, 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 turn. Right hand away. Running out of uh, wind over the wingtips there. That is indeed not a happy plane. Past the ginormous hotel that's been constructed. <laughs> right hand chucking in. <laughs> right hander. Ah, uh, they say you cut the track and uh, throw it down it, down the hill. Whoa! Okay, it was losing. <laughs> nice. Nah, this plane's taking a beat in here. You can hear the wind, uh, the turbulence. Through the Schumacher S's. Avoid the bus that's driving across the road. <laughs> and the other bus and the car. Tricky left-hander. And right-hander. <laughs> oh, God, this is... This, they should do Red Bull Air Racing here. Bring it back. Just just do... Just do Red Bull Nürburgring Racing in planes. I'll get the viewership. Here we go. Up over the NGK chicane. Tight. Right, left-hander. Now, if we hit trees, you do crash, so we've got to watch out for the trees. You'll notice at the uh, track, this is sort of the po post-apocalyptic. Ah! <laughs> we hit a tree. It's the apocalyptic, uh, the post-apocalypse track. Oh, no. Right. I'm going to have to fly right back to the track. <laughs> it's going to take me... It's going to take me about... Probably going to take me about uh, 20 minutes to get to the track. So I will do that and we will skip back ahead to the racetrack. So we're coming back to the track there. Just as we're entering the circuit, it's worth pointing out that uh, on top of the hill here is the Nürburg. <laughs> the Berg of Nürb. The, 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 yeah, the castle. The castle. We'll just call it that. It's not fully represented in here. It's kind of more like a hut, the Nur hut. But, uh, you know, in, in, uh, apparently people are going to be able to add their own content to this in the future, mod it and stuff. So maybe someone could add the Nurberg to the Nurberg ring to make it complete. But that doesn't matter right now. The real mission is to actually do a lap close to the ground without dying. So let's re-enter the race circuit here. We'll cut off the GP track and uh, go straight onto the Nürburgring. We've got to watch out for those trees. And uh, so one thing that did occur to me, Microsoft Flight Simulator has full multiplayer. And you can just join in with your friends. I mean, you can join in with anyone, go to any location, depending on which mode you use. But what this means is we can do plain Nürburgring racing in this simulator. And in theory, you can have up to 50 planes <laughs> in the same game. Well, you can have thousands of planes, but 50 on your screen at any one point in time. Um, so <laughs> that could be interesting. We can do our own Nürburgring air racing. We can marshal it. And, uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm hyped for that. Right, the, this is pretty tense because if we crash, we get punished having to do a... 30 minute flight back back to the location now you can you can just spawn on top of the location but i don't know exactly where it is and there's no the airport we're spawning that is the closest one uh i need to like find out where it is on the actual map more clearly but until then i just uh, i'm going to the nearest airport uh not ideal <laughs> we're gonna get low here though look at these lines guys look at those trees as well We can overstress the plane, and that will that will cause it to uh, crash as well if you overstress the wings. So we do not want to do that. Oh my God, trees are kind of pesky in an aeroplane. You think you're fine, the next before you know it, your wings in it. These corners are too tight. <laughs> Definitely need to do this in the biplane. That'll be the next attempt. Well, and then it's the down right hander there. 
<laughs> it's a fantastic way to learn. Actually, no, it's a terrible... It's, I was going to say it's a fantastic way to learn racetracks. It's an awful way to learn racetracks. It's positively the worst way to learn a racetrack. It's the, the most fun way, but not the most useful. And the right-hander... Where is it going? Where are you going? Oh, it's always... Is he invisible? Where's the road gone? Oh, no! I've lost the road. There it is. God damn it. I can barely see it. Cut those trees down. <laughs> How am I supposed to fly this from the air if I can't even see the racetrack? Well, apparently it's right below us. That's not it. Or is it? Oh, no. Come on. Well, there it is. God damn. There we go. There we go. We're back, back to it. Hidden racetrack here. Oh, look at that. Right, get in the valley. Keep it low. <laughs> Wonder how much the uh, the ticket prices would be for the tourist flight. Wagen. <laughs> flight Fuchsplug Wagen. Game of Muscle Airways air lap. Nice and easy. A bloody jungle. There we go. Tight right-hander coming up. Let's get right down there. Whoa! <laughs> Plane through the carousel. Oh, okay. Okay. That's as tight as we're going in this. We stall in when we do that. It's not ideal. Left-hander. You can keep pulling back on the stick, but eventually the plane just goes, Nope. <laughs> I will not stay in the air for you if you do that anymore. There is a limit. Mostly just following the valley here. Throw it in. Look at the sh uh, shadows in the cockpit. Stop talking about the graphics. <laughs> I'm a max throttle through this. No half measures. Hang on, I've followed a public... Ra I've lost the racetrack. There it is. There it is. <laughs> I think I've been following a public road. <laughs> you don't have this problem in a race car. Right. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Could a little bit lost there, guys. Don't worry about that. It just <laughs> turns out this is the longest lap of the North Slaver. Because <laughs> your pilot's been following all the public roads. <laughs> Got to get your money's worth. Right, come on. Come on. I need a little GPS map. They do have... Actually, we have got... There are... It does have a GPS map. Right, we might have to put that on. Look, if you try this, you'll you'll see it's not easy. It's not as it's, I'm making it look easy. <laughs> oh, here we go. We're definitely going the right way because we've got the tight right hand and then the then the actual carousel coming in. Wee! Look at the uh, drop off over the hill there. Oh 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 oh. There we go. And it's disappeared again. There it is. Oh, we can fit the plane through that. Oh, oh. A bit close to those trees. Smooth. Sit bags out. Definitely need VR for this. You can keep your eyes on the actual circuit. That is coming into Microsoft Flight Sim. 
with planes, uh, when it comes to cornering in planes, you have to really preemptively you roll and then turn into it. So you really have to be quite. You, you don't follow things as much as you do in a car. It's more like a. <laughs> if that makes sense. I mean, really, you should, probably shouldn't listen to anything I say when it comes to planes or anything for that matter. So you know, and there's the flat top trees over there. I think. I oh, know that should have been earlier. It's good to turn up flying the track back to front. Now we're going the right way here. We're good. We're good. We're coming up to this straight. There we go. Let's get right down there. The fastest ever run down the uh, straight. Watch out for the trees. Oh. I need more stumpy wings. Devil's Diner, buzz it! Wow! <laughs> Woo! Right, let's land it on the uh, start finish line. Actually, we've not finished the lap yet, we've got the tight. It's got to join back onto the uh, GP circuit. But we will land it, actually. Get up. Okay, we're probably going to overshoot it. Flaps down. Let's get some speed off here. Bit of a woggle. Sideways it in. There we go. We've got the speed off. Bring her in. Stall it onto the... There it is. Not the lightest of landings, but it will do. Well, it's not exactly flat, is it? <laughs> it's not exactly flat. And brakes on. Look at that. Technically, that is a landing on the start-finish line. Absolutely beautiful. That is our first ever lap of the Nürburgring Nordschleife. The Nordschleife Nürburgring. <laughs> Words, how do they work? It's our first ever lap of the entirety of the track in the flight simulator. We could do better. We're going to have to revisit this with a biplane of sorts and do a lower lower lap. We have to have the GPS on. We do better. And we'll have to do it with other people and race them, of course. But, uh, you know, if you want to see more of this... You want to see more racetracks from the air? And you just like simulator content. You know what you need to do. You need to turn off your computer. You need to go outside and get a life. That's what you need to do. <laughs> but you could also subscribe, hit the bell, click the like button. But until the next one, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Happy flying. Happy tea drinking. Goodbye.